Hello everybody, Alex Elliott here and welcome back to a brand new video. We're going to be talking today about that position at the top of the backswing and how making a shorter backswing is going to create way more power just like John Ram. So we all know Master Sunday and about three hours from now we'll be crowning the winner. Get in those comments down below who's your hot favourite going into the final round. Also, some really big news for you, that throughout this video I'm going to be telling you about my brand new partnership with Golf Buddy and some absolutely amazing giveaways that I've got from them. Okay, so let's start this off by just discussing a few of the things that I've been seeing actually since we've all come back from lockdown, um, which is bound to happen, is get a little bit lazy and get a little bit armsy. So what I've sort of seen right now is a lot of people at the top of the backswing are making a foot sort of two common errors. Either this elbow's working very high and too much internally, or we're getting top of the backswing and this right arm is very, very bent, okay? Both of these are gonna make your golf swing a little bit longer and a little bit more of out of that control motion. So if you've gone on the golf course right now, and by all means, a lot of us have probably been in this situation and we felt like we haven't had control of the golf club, didn't know where the club face was. I know I've had that feeling since coming back. This is really gonna help us. So let's just throw these two into two categories. One, working a little bit like this. Two, working a little bit like this. So if you come back down to the face on position, I just wanna show you what length of this swing would look like. And as we all know, the longer this swing gets, the more out of control we tend to all feel. John Ram, look at him on the side of the screen now, we're gonna get him in here. Look how short, look how compact. And that's sort of what the feeling I want you to leave with today. So what they'd look like, very much like this, right elbow high, or very much like this, too much bend of this right arm. So let's go into now exactly how we can gain a simple, simple, simple feeling that's gonna get us at the top of the backswing exactly where I want to be. Now I've spoken about this a few times on the channel and I've spoken about this feeling of, can we feel the top of the backswing almost like we're holding a plate? <laughs> we sort of see all the top players sort of in this position very much like this. Now, before we do this exercise, if you've had shoulder issues in the past, then potentially go and check out my sit fitness series with Nat. I'll leave a link down below in the description and we talk about shoulder mobility because if you struggled with poor shoulder mobility, this is really gonna make it hard for us to make this move. So essentially, what we want to feel is in the backswing, our right arm or our trail arm sort of makes this motion, okay? So firstly, just want you to try and create this motion fully upright. So almost like you're gonna be holding something out to the side of you. Face on would look very much like this. This is essentially what our right arm or our trail arm is wanting to create. Now, this is called external rotation. A lot of us may find it easy like this, but as soon as we get more into golf posture, we find this motion all to be a little bit harder. Gravity's more on our side, the pitch of our body makes it harder to move this right shoulder. So be wary of this. Take your time with this move, don't do it too fast. Okay, let's take you back now to your cricketing days or when you've been throwing an apple into the bin. What, how would we do it? Well, let's show you now. I wouldn't throw it like this, would I, if I was gonna throw the golf ball or throw the apple? I wouldn't throw it like this if I wanted to throw this away. Have a look at this now. I'm gonna throw this ball away and also we're gonna put a slow motion right next to it as well because look at what this position gets to, okay? So I'm gonna throw this one away and we're gonna do a slow motion straight after it. So you can see there, my right arm at the top of the backswing got into this position. Let's have a look at John Ram now. Very, very similar. These two things are exactly the positions we're wanting to achieve. So if I said right now, can we make a super simple drill? I'm gonna call it our right arm throw. Okay, before we go into that though, let's get into all about my latest giveaway with Golf Buddy. Okay, so to celebrate my partnership with Golf Buddy and Second Chance, I'm bringing you a mega giveaway. You have a chance to win all of these products. From a net, to a putting mat, to towel and card holder. One lucky person can win this entire bundle. I mean, what, what more do we wanna win? Okay, so to enter is really, really simple. All you've gotta do is be a subscriber to Alex Elliott Golf, 
Make sure you like this video, share this video with three friends, and finally, click the link down below on the landing page. And all you gotta do is fill in your details to have a chance to win this giveaway. Good luck to you all. We'll announce the winner this time next week. Okay, let's get back into the video. But before that, so I'm gaming the brand new Gold Buddy watch here. A thing that we've got on the watch now is that we can now mark our location and see how far we're hitting our drive from the tee. When we get one bombs away, it's nice to see how far we hit it, isn't it? We can got the bragging rights. Okay, let's get back into the video and actually show you how we can start hitting it a little bit further. So for this drill, let's just do it with an alignment stick to begin with. And the alignment stick is effectively going to just be my golf club. So let's remind us, imagine my golf club is now being is replacing my golf ball that I was throwing. We won't want to throw it this way, we've established that. We won't want to throw it really narrow in like this. How we would want to throw it is if we get into goal posture, get ready to throw it and stop. We sort of want the club to be around this position. So we bring our left hand on now. This is exactly where we want this club to be at the top. Nice little bit of bend, it's not past 90. It's sort of around that 90 point and we've made that feeling of external rotation. And I don't think that drill could be any simpler. So if I showed it you from here, I'm gonna throw it in this direction now. Golf posture, left hand on. This is exactly positions that we're wanting to feel that we're going to create in that backswing. You can see now, at the top of that swing now, I can't swing any further because I've reached that maximum point. I've not actually thought about swinging it shorter. I've actually got more compact. The arms and the body are working together. And I find this so interesting. I think we need to attach more everyday movements into our golf swing to actually have a massive impact on what we do on the golf course because they're easier for us to do. As humans, we've been doing them for years, haven't we? We've been throwing a ball, we've been throwing apples into the bin, we've been throwing paper into the bin whatever it is we've been doing it for years so why not bring that into our golf game so let's do it with a driver in our hand now and just watch this in slow motion watch this in slow motion right now I'm going to do this one-handed and then we're going to put my full swing on the side as well so watch this slow motion this is where I want to be okay look at the similarities where I want to be. So all essentially I want you to feel, and this is something you could take literally so quickly to the golf course, can I feel with my trail arm, I'm gonna be throwing the ball away. That is the only thing I want you to focus on at the top of the backswing right now. Can I feel I'm at the top of the backswing and I'm throwing it away? So if I hit this one away now, let's have a look at this. So that's the end of today's video. Use that simple analogy of if I was gonna throw a ball away, what position would I get into? It can't be any simpler to make your golf swing, your arms and your body feel all synced up at the top of the backswing. And don't forget to enter the giveaway. What better way to improve our skills and improve our golf with using these fantastic training aids. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday, and most importantly, enjoy the Masters.